Hi, this is Carlos Zakarian with NetFocus Technologies. In this video, we're going to look at a job I worked on for a health club that had intermittent Wi-Fi connectivity issues with their thermostat IoT devices. So the story goes like this. During the day, the thermostat worked flawlessly. No issues adjusting temperatures, no issues scheduling, and so forth. I took a picture of the thermostat and here's what it looks like. So this is the way the thermostat looks when it is operating normally. There are no error messages. Everything is in normal operating mode. However, on some nights after closing time, the thermostat would lose Wi-Fi connectivity and display Wi-Fi signal lost. Here's a picture of what that looks like. The thermostat is mounted flush against the wall. Directly in front of it are neoprene dumbbells, weight plates, kettlebells, and so forth. The thermostat, as well as the weight racks, have been here for over three years and working fine up to now. I reviewed the Wi-Fi settings of the controller, looked at the logs, checked on the transmit power, DHCP scope lease times, and channel utilization. I managed to take notes of the AP settings, making sure the firmware was up to date, and it was. The AP was set on 2.4 GHz band using channel 1 with a 20 MHz wide channel width. So on that side of things, everything appeared to be good. I observed the problem for a couple of days, analyzing the issue at hand, trying to scope down the issue to a particular event. During the daytime, I perform a Wi-Fi analysis of the AP and thermostat, trying to gather some statistics on retry rate, bytes transmitted, bytes received, CRC errors, and so forth. We navigate to the infrastructure screen, go to the list of infrastructure, and select listed by SSID. What I'm looking for here is our SSID of floor three, which is right here. And by selecting that, we see our access point. We select that, hit the plus sign next to it. And now we'll drill down and select our thermostat station. Now that we're selecting the thermostat station, we'll navigate to the frames and bytes section here, click on the plus sign scroll down a little bit and now we can see all the statistics that we need what i'm looking for is the amount of retry frames for this thermostat and you can see on the receive total percent total the retry rate is about seven percent the crc is kind of high at 25 percent remember this is the receive side that means that the access point is sending data to the thermostat. We can also check the transmitting statistics by selecting transmit total percent total. And we can see here the retry rate is about 6.6%, but our CRC bytes is only 0.62%. Remember, this is the thermostat sending data up to the access point. As you can see from the statistics, our results are a little high, but even so, during the day, everything appears to be working fine. We ran a ping test as well, and we can see from here that it is within the range of 2 milliseconds all the way down to 35 milliseconds during the day. It's during the night that problems occur. So now we'll move on to running a spectrum analysis to see what's going on during the day and comparing that to night. Here we have the Air Magnet Spectrum XT running. As we could see on channels one, there's very little activity going on here. You could also see it in the spectrogram. As we highlight channel one, you can see that there's very little things happening here, but look at what's happening on channel six. A lot of activity. And this is just in the daytime, and we'll be running the same analysis during nighttime to see what's going on there. 
During the night, we noticed channels 1, 2, 3 had some change, but not too much. However, on channels 4 through 10, we noticed more activity as shown in red. At the same time that this was occurring, the thermostat was beginning to lose connectivity slowly as shown in our pain test. As you could see, as we scroll down, we start getting request timeout, high millisecond count, and eventually just dropping out out of our Wi-Fi connection. During the same time, we also had a paint test running against our sensor that was connected to the same AP as the thermostat, and that was working just fine. As you can see, the millisecond for this is about 48 to 50 to 90, and it never dropped the connection, which told us that the AP was still up and running. As the thermostat struggled to connect back to the Wi-Fi, we noticed on our receive total and percent total that the CRC error bytes increased to 73%. Our retry frames was just down to 1% before the thermostat gave up. What this tells us is that the CRC error bytes indicating that at 73% that there must be some sort of interference going on. So let's find out what that was. As you may have noticed, we have an extra row of kettlebell weights. On some nights, the gym employees would store these weights on the top rack for storage. However, because these weights block the line of sight for the Wi-Fi signals, the thermostat IoT device would retry several times during the night to reconnect to the access point. Unfortunately, unable to, the thermostat eventually gave up trying. So to solve this problem, we simply asked the employees to store the kettlebell weights on the bottom row. IoT Wi-Fi devices are very sensitive to Wi-Fi issues. Even though most are resilient, not all are equal. All right, I want to thank you for watching. Take care. See you on the next one.